Beam settles in. Edsel takes first pitch strike. It's Edsel Dickerson and Wilkes will lead things off. Dickerson has been the story in postseason play. Drew Beam, the right-hander. Mid-90s fastball with that slider, the change, and the cutter. He leads this elite pitching staff with eight wins. Yeah, and Edsel, liner to center field. Right in front of Ensley, and it falls in for a hit. Good start for the home team, but technically is the visitor tonight due to a coin flip that took place two and a half days ago. Yesterday on Sunday, after weather issues, and here comes Beam with a strikeout. That's strong. When you're blowing fastballs by that kid, you know you got something special. Drew Beam. From the junior college ranks before this season. And another strikeout as Wilkes goes down swinging. The second for Drew Beam. And just like that, Drew Beam strikes out the side. And the first strikeout for Nico Mazza. Little football, soccer, and baseball in high school for me. Inslee with good speed. Over to second. Monaster, there's the turn, and the throws pit cleanly. The double play. 4 6 3. Four time conference coach of the year. Those awards coming in Conference USA. Fly ball. Hard to right field near the line. Tracking is Scott. Yeah, not that you do anything different. I mean, the wind is not blowing. Drops it in on the outer half. Four strikeouts for Drew Beam. Those type of curveballs as a hitter, it's just hard to pick up the spin. Already four strikeouts. Up the middle, that's going to be a knock for Monastir. Second hit for USM, and the inning continues here in the second. Igniting this USM offense, and now runners at first and second. And Rodrigo slings this one down the left field line. Should be playable for Jared Dickey. Little tapper, who wants it? Lynch will race over from third, fires to first, and not in time. Infield hit for Christian Moore, who was racing down that first baseline. What a play by Lynch. How about the transfer, how quick he was to get rid of that ball and then an accurate throw to first. He... And the 3-2, more not moving, and a walk issued. And Mazza from the stretch. That'll sneak through the right side for a base hit. Moore's coming around third, and Tennessee grabs the early lead. Denton races all the way around second, now standing at third base, and the Vols with runners at the corners, and still no one out. Yeah, that did a couple things. Got the first run across for the Vols. It's right there in the top five. Awkward swing here, and Mazza battles back to record the first out in the frame. That'll be his second strikeout. Tanner Hall, Billy Oldham, and now Nico Mazza. Yeah, you've talked a lot about the change-ups this weekend. This one popped up foul territory. Swung on and miss, and the third strikeout. Things changed by the time you got to the majors. Served the short, Ahona up with it quickly. Accurate toss for out number one for those. And Wilkes gonna sneak that one through into center field for a knock. And the one-two from Beam. And the payoff, Ahona peeled down to third, did not go. Inslee up the middle into center field for a knock. And the balls with runners at first and second. More the sophomore from Brooklyn. Swung on and miss. Out of the zone. And the fourth strikeout for Nico Mazza. Mazza from the stretch. Little nubber. Going to be fielded by Lynch. He's got time. Fires a strike for the third out. And the punch out. Five the score. Longhorns from a couple outs to work with on ESPN. How about Danny Lynch? A couple of hits this weekend, and a knock here to center field. 3-2 once again. Settles low for ball four. And the Tigers back to the College World Series. Could beat two. Over to short. Ahuna makes the turn. And he was drawn off the bag. That was B. And so USM with simply a runner at third. And the first pitch from Bean, served to second. Moore has it, and Tennessee escapes a jam. Into Missouri. Yeah. 
Ripped into right center, and that'll get down for a hit for Christian Scott. Big turn at first. He'll quickly go back. And the 1-0's popped up into left field. Parker underneath it. Popping that bat this year. Saw it in game one. This time a fly ball to right center. Ensley or Scott. It'll be Ensley in center field. Kroon head on, and now Scott Barry has announced his this year. Chopper, Ahona on the bag at second. Last six innings, scoring those eight runs on five hits. Scott Barry told us he bounces back pretty quickly. And Ahuna draws ball four. And he'll bunt it right back to Maza. Only play at first. One three sacrifice. One two to Dickey. Towards the gap in left center. Edsel underneath it. Reaching third will be Maui Ahuna. Go the one two from Maza. Hit him. And more twists and turns. He'll sling the bat down. Trying to punch their ticket to Omaha. Runner goes from first. No throw. More importantly, the 2 0. Fly ball. Deep right center field. Edsel going back at the track, deep into the night. And there it is for Tennessee. A three-run monster. And the Vols grab a 4-0 lead. And a little blooper over to Lynch at third. Under a three is a staff. 2-2, Two -two, center field. Tate Parker serves up a base hit. Perhaps here comes Drew Beam again. Another strikeout. Monster shot, but it just. The, the... Curve ball and the strikeout. Scott's retired. Matt Adams comes in dealing. Full. You know, it, it hit the banners out there in right field, and I didn't see it, but I saw it hit the banners, and it almost went out of the Metrodome. Peyto. Tom Walter's done such a great job. This one, that's going to get through. Right past Moore at second base. Florida, Virginia, Oral Roberts, and TCU, Todd Walker. 2-2 Two -two from Beam. And that's hammered into right field for a base hit. Is Peyto. He'll make it to third without a toss. Aaron Combs, a right-hander, just a sophomore out of Sarasota. Heavy ride on that fastball into the low 90s. Edsel swung right through it. And the strikeout for Combs coming straight out of the pen, dealing. Three RA, they were really good. Put him on the back end. He does have that electric fastball, that wipeout slider to go with it. Guessing on the gas. Dickerson comes up empty. There it is. 102 miles an hour. He needs to be cooled off a little bit right now, Todd. Adams serves one up to Ahuna. That one's going back near the wall, and it's off the wall. Did it go over? It did. That's a home run. Ahuna leaves the ballpark to make it 5-0 Tennessee. Maui Ahuna with his eighth home run. He's had that uppercut swing all weekend. Another shot to deep left field. Parker going back at the track, and this time right in front of the wall. Incredible fastball, Chase Burns. This one lofted to right center. And Edsel. It's a great start for Nico Mazza. A better start for Drew Beam for Tennessee. In the Supers a year ago against Ole Miss. Another strikeout for Burns. Velocity matters. Just seems like everything would be out of whack. And that's what it feels like against Burns tonight. Four strikeouts already. SEC schedule. Lynch makes contact. And we'll get it out to left field. Goes to retire 17 of the next 18 hitters. Tennessee goes ahead, wins game two, and now up. <laughs> so you had to dial it back a little bit after you got there. Night. Guy named Daniel Choi. Runner gets a head start from first. This one popped up to shallow right field. And Peyto corrals it. The Vols on the verge. Lead off walk. Fly ball, shallow left. Dickey underneath. Tap to third. Only play will be at first, and it's made by Denton. No, they pulled him off the bag. They most certainly will have a look. First base umpire, Craig Barron, right on top of it. Did he pull his left foot? He's off right there. I don't know if he came back down. Right off the gate, 
I thought it was a base hit. Accurate throw over, and it did not look like Blake Burke was able to keep his left foot on the bag. Pops it up here. Denton at third. He's got it. Burns. Line out to first base. Burke was waiting. And look out, Omaha. Here comes Tennessee. Tennessee topples Southern Miss 5-0. And the Vols return to the Men's College World Series for the second time in three years. Much respect to Scott Berry and the Southern Mississippi Golden Eagles. What a great season they had. Show their appreciation. Rocky Top, you'll always be home sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top. Rocky Top, Tennessee. Rocky Top, Tennessee.